Hey there Magic Wand, Bronya from Wild Lotus Tarot here. We are about to jump into your weekly intuitive channel tarot message, but before we do so, just wanted to say that uh, what you just saw was a preview for my Immersive Learn Tarot Journey, the initiation. And since I launched it a couple of months ago, I have been offering it at a special price of 111 US dollars but like all good things they do come to an end uh, so they say and I will be uh, closing that off on October the 16th so if you wanted to grab it at that price um, you can do so now and I just wanted to let you know that you can um, you can join and then you have 12 months access so you can uh, take advantage of the special price and you can jump in when you've got time to do it over the next year uh, you will receive lifetime access to the Karmic community over on Facebook and your Tarot Light Codes, which is a mini course that is part of the course. You'll find out all about that when you join. So um, before we head to your reading, just to let you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. Links are down below under the video, including the link to my website should you want to uh, arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. Uh, the link for the Tarot course is the first link down below as well. Um, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and share and all of that as well, guys. It does help me um, bringing these and bringing these readings to you every week. So have a wonderful week. Let's go to your reading right now. Capricorn, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for October 18th through to the 24th. Hope you're doing really well, Capricorn. Let's see what may be on the cards for you for the week. I'm getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. I will then be going to the Moon Child Tarot for a lead tarot energy and then using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot for the tarot card reading. First one out, Capricorn. Oh, leap. You go first and the universe will catch you. This is the full energy, guys. It's that Aries energy that's encouraging you to take big, bold moves. Now, it might be uh, a blind leap of faith into something, maybe into a relationship, maybe into a job, a course of study, a relocation, something like that. And it's saying, don't get too hung up on the destination, how it's all going to work out, but just start moving anyway. And sometimes, you know, when we go first and take the, the first step, then the universe knows that we're ready and kind of like rolls out that red carpet for you. I've got boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So you might need to manage your energy better this uh, this week Capricorn by really putting some boundaries into place with others um, if we don't put our boundaries in place people don't really know like how much we can take on in terms of work or you know uh, how much to lean on us emotionally and that kind of thing and when we don't put that boundary in place we are the one that can get overwhelmed so that's going to be really important for you to speak those boundaries because without that people just don't know how to to move uh, around us Okay, let's get one card from the Moonchild Tarot as your lead tarot energy Capricorn. We've got, oh, Moonchild. This is an extra major arcana in this tarot deck. Obviously the self-titled uh, <clears throat> card, Moonchild Tarot. And for me, this is very much about following your intuition. Look at this. There's the moon pretty much behind that leap card as well. So the moon in tarot is a lot about uh, trusting your intuition, trusting the subconscious uh, feelings of knowing. So I feel like your intuition is going to be so important in terms of this leap that you are about to make. So there you go, guys. Moon child. You are the moon child this week. And, you know, being uh, the, the queen of pentacles in the minor arcana, it's about taking practical steps as well. I mean, yeah, a leap of faith, but also put a plan in place, guys. That's what you do really well. You know, putting a plan in place and really focusing on achieving the milestones. <clears throat> Judgment time. That's where you've come from. That's what's led to the leap, guys. Huh. Guys, look at this. You can't make it up. As I was saying, that's the full card and the oracle card and here in, in the old oracle deck, and here we go. Oh, guys. Can I just say, <clears throat> I was going for three cards, I've got four. All major arcana, strength card. So we've got Leo, we've got Aries, we've got a lot of fire energy. It's about bold action. I'm finishing the deck on the Ten of Swords, so you are most definitely 
completing a big old cycle here. And one that has really, I think, held you back from the sleep. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles held you back from <clears throat> potentially abundance as well. The star doesn't get much better. Aquarius energy, then another major arcana. Oh, <sighs> guys, guys, this here is the world energy in this deck. You have the world clarified with the world. Mm, have I seen this before in a reading? I think one time ever. That is just like the most major, major ending energy. Um, I'm not going to pull any more cards. It's really clear what's going on here. I've got the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> All right. Well, where have you come from? Where have you come from, Capricorn? Guys, Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. I must say that in the last um, two days, when I've been doing the readings, I've been getting these little subtle synchronicities, like hardcore guys. And, you know, it, when I'm doing these tarot readings, it's a lot with how, how tuned in I am feeling with the universe really to give me these signs. I'm feeling very tuned in at the moment, guys, and it's all happening. So I love to see these very clear messages coming out. Okay, you're coming from Four of Cups and Judgment. This is a general reading, guys. This is my disclaimer. I cannot cover every single person's um, scenario here. Because this is a general energetic pattern, it could be playing out in, in a certain life area for you that is different from another person. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's work. Maybe it's about the place you're living in. You will know. But you're coming from Four of Cups, and this is an energy of feeling over it. For, it could be for multiple different reasons, but generally it's about emotional disconnection. You've got to a point in a life area where it's like... Not only is it not doing it for me, but I feel like it's holding you back. It could be holding you back from your full expression. It could be holding you back from a bigger dream. It could be holding you back from a big leap. That leap could be, you know, to move to another location, to, 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 to get the job of your dreams, to love fully. So the person in the Four of Cups has come become despondent or... It can be bored, it can be apathetic, it can be comfortably numb, but you have had some kind of awakening, some kind of wake-up call, which could have come through your intuition, you are the moon child at the moment, um, or it could have come through a, a set of circumstances or an event that has really put the spotlight on this area for you, and it's been the catalyst. Now it's like, well, I can't actually stay here anymore, I'm going to need to to transition on and it's so funny because I always say it's the you know the devil energy in these small dark constricted spaces but it's also that ten of swords energy look at the the darkness here you are being encouraged to liberate yourself from what has held you confined stuck uh, playing small it's that kind of energy whatever this wake up call that you have had it's asking you to to rise up to liberate to to free yourself, basically. So judgment is the card of last calls. Last call. What are we doing here? Are we going around for another cycle? If so, we are going to get a very similar result. And because we've moved into Four of Cups, despondent, comfortably numb energy, we'll probably get more of that unless, you know, all parties are willing to uh, bring change, justice, you know, transformation. So the other option is to move this across to the world energy. Well, with double hit of that, guys, I know what the, what the energies are saying. This is the second to last major arcana. This is the last one. You are being encouraged to close. Huge karmic cycle. Because it says here that the, the cycle is complete and you've actually, um, you know, learned everything that, that you need to from this. Where do we go now? We go here. I can't remember what's behind the world. Strength. Yeah, okay. So, Nine of Pentacles and the Fool. Sometimes we need to take that leap of faith, right? We need to start putting the plan in place. We need to communicate to that, that partner, that boss, that mentor, that manager, hey, you know what? It's time for me to go in my own way. It's time to go for, for me to go in my own direction. I've got this burning in my heart that I just 
can't resist. The fool is about trusting that rebel heart energy and beginning to walk that path because you're so strongly guided to. The nine of pentacles here shows you in your earth energy being very independent. You might be on a solo journey for a period of time, right? So you could be relocating alone. You could be going out on your own in terms of uh, building a business, freelance, that kind of thing. You could be becoming single, right? Having a period of time coming into your own energy. But the cards are showing you better off than ever in that energy, Capricorn. You're going to be magnetic, you're going to be looking good, feeling good, and you're going to be attracting abundance and opportunity because as your vibration rises, that is what happens because, you know, what is coming into your life, who is coming into your life, the opportunities that come to you are an energetic match for your frequency. So I see you coming out of a time of uh, like a lower or denser frequency to like a butterfly uh, unfolding, expanding energy here. So there we go. There's some kind of leap of faith, some kind of fresh new start, fresh new beginning happening here. So we've got this card twice, so I'll just use this one here. You're going to need some kind of strength and courage and determination in order I'm hearing just to take the first step, just to get the ball rolling, to put the wheels in motion. You're going to also need to hold your boundaries. You're going to need to, you know, really stand by your word here. You might need to block some block out somebody who's trying to convince you otherwise. Somebody who's trying to pull you back in. The cards are saying this is probably time for you to close the karmic cycle. At one stage, yeah, you know, you, you manifested whatever the situation is that you're transitioning out of. In Capricorn, you did that because it held a key karmic lesson for you, but that is now complete. It is time for you to move on to new manifestations now and jump into that new cycle, going through that Saturnian hoop. And if you are at the age of your Saturn return, so let's say around you know like 27 to early 30s or your second one at around sort of mid uh, mid 50s you could be going through some kind of phenomenal change in your life that could look like you know um, finishing like a major course of study it could look like uh, leaving a, a marriage and rebuilding your life it could look like leaving that career that's you know being your solid but now following your path of passion so I feel that this is even more powerful if you are around those ages so the world, you know, this is your victory because there's victory in moving with the energetic cycles. When we stay in situations that are no longer meant for us or have had their time, that's where the numbness moves in, right? The numbness is the disconnection from the heart, the disconnection from the body and the over-identification with the mind and the ego and using sheer, you know, grit to stay in a situation because we feel that we're unsuccessful if we call time on a relationship or a job. The duration of any situation is no indication of success. The indication of success, Capricorn, is are you happy and fulfilled in each and every moment? And if not, you need to ask yourself what you need to do to achieve it. There is something about another level of potential that you can unlock here. Bring that ego mind under control so you can hear the guidance of your inner moon child, your higher self. And why not finish on the star? The beautiful, cooling, calming and healing Aquarian energy which says, Capricorn, you are moving into a time of your greatest balance. Yes, there is some vulnerability here. I see that all over this reading. But in the words of Brene Brown, you know, vulnerability is about great power. There's great power and vulnerability. The star is also about you being guided towards your hopes, dreams, wishes and deeper manifestations finally becoming a reality. Because as we move through life and we master the, the karmic lessons 
and you know we then flow seamlessly into the next it's like we are evolving you know life gets juicier and richer when we move with that cycle so we have more chance of really you know moving towards our true calling in life right it's when we get stuck it's when we get in you know i'm seeing the um like the bottleneck you know the, the block in the funnel it's when we get to one of those points that we that we don't make things happen in our lives so the cards are saying you know it's time to move through one of those like damn points and get the universal energies flowing again Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this uh, channeled tarot message for the week. I do wish you the very best if this is your reading. Um, keeping in mind that it's general reading for the collective guys. It can't and won't and is not meant to resonate for all of you. It's for those of you that are moving into the full energy as guided by your inner moon child this week. Drop me a comment, guys. Like, are you feeling this energy like it is intense if so let me know how it's going for you just keep in mind you know don't share too many personal details the comments are public but i'd love to hear and i will see you back here next week for another one capricorn bye for now